So today I'm going to be showing you guys step by step how to set up mist in Blender. This is also known, I think, as a Z depth pass. It goes by a few names, but in Blender it's called a mist pass and it's mostly used as the name implies for mist. So you can see here is an image and it's looking pretty boring and it doesn't really make quite sense without that sort of atmosphere. But now I'm adding in this pass over here, combining the two. And now you can see this result here looks a lot better. So you can use an any scene you want. I'm just using one of my previous animations and uh, you guys can follow along and we can set this up. It's really quite simple and we'll also go through the compositing bit. Okay, so I'm gonna be demonstrating with just a scene that I have, a little animation I was working on. You can use any scene, like I said in the beginning. The main thing is you wanna select your camera and then there are a few things we're gonna to wanna to do. So let's go over to our properties and the first one we're gonna to go to is our view layer properties. We're gonna click on that we're gonna go over to passes and then you're gonna go down to the passes. Under here is the data, you're gonna go under that and you're just gonna enable mist. We're then gonna go over to our camera settings. We're gonna go over to the viewport display and we're gonna go over and enable mist, okay? Now you're gonna see there should be this line over here. That's kind of where your mist is. But if you wanna see more details related to that, you have to actually go over to your world properties and then you have to go down to mist pass. So essentially the start is where it starts. So in this case, you can see here with this line, mine is starting very close to the camera. I can actually adjust this um, here. So you can see this is where the mist starts. And then this end value here is where the mist goes to. So say for example, I want the mist to start kind of over here at the front of my camera. I kind of position it close to my camera and the end I can adjust as well. So it's that simple. So let's quickly, um, whatever, however you choose to set it up in your scene, I'm gonna go with just something like this, just to demonstrate. And then I'm gonna go into my camera view. I'm gonna get a shot I like. So you can do it with your own scene and then just go ahead, render and render the image. So here you can see my example here is rendered, but we're not seeing the mist pass on top of here. So what we actually need to do is go over to our compositing. And this is really quite simple. So you're gonna go over to your compositing window and you're gonna make sure you enable use nodes. Now you're gonna have a render layer and a composite and you wanna go shift A search and just type in view and get a viewer node and make sure you take the image and plug it into the viewer as well so you can actually see your image. Now over here in the render layer, you're gonna actually see we have something here called the mist pass which is now available. So all we have to do is mix it. We have an image here. So to simplify things a bit, I'm just gonna go shift and right click on the mouse while I'm holding in shift and just drag over these two cables. And that's just kind of fuse them together. That just makes things a little bit simpler for us. By the way, if you wanna zoom in and out to the background, you can go V to zoom out and Alt V to zoom in. Anyway, let's go shift A search and get a mix. I'm gonna go and grab the mix node. We're gonna place it over here. Now we want the image going to the top input and we want the mist going into the factor over here. Okay, and now you can see we have our mist pass blended over. Now, what you can do here is you can come to the image and you can actually change the color or the, the bottom one here, this color, you can actually change what um, the color is of it. But I'd recommend you just kind of leave it on a white. Now let's just say that this mist here is a little bit too strong for you and you wanna control it. You can go shift A search and get a color ramp node and then just place a color ramp on top of this mist. So the mist is now going to the color ramp and that is going into the factor. And now you can kind of drag these sliders here and you can control the distribution or the strength of your map. But ideally you would just readjust um, those settings with your camera as we did before. But that is how simple it is to add in a mist pass. You can also change the value of the mist pass if you wanna make it a bit softer. But it's really quite simple to add one. I hope you guys have enjoyed this quick little video. So if you now go over to your rendering, you should see here it's composite and it's all together. So from now on, when you render, whether you're rendering out an image or an animation, um, it'll work with the compositing. So I'll see you guys next time for another tutorial and thank you for watching.